In our last video, we spotted some hallucination happening in Nardia's Pyrath pipeline. And while I was scratching my head trying to figure out what could have gone wrong, I found some really useful insights from the community on our DeFi YouTube channel. So thanks to those who have contributed those really helpful constructive feedback. And I'm going to use those feedback to do some testing in today's video. The latest comment that we got from our viewer is about testing Llama 3 to see if it can lead to improvement. And that's exactly what we'll be testing in the video later. And we also got very solid advice suggesting that trying different embedding models could potentially lead to different results. This time, we'll be mainly focusing on testing the different combinations of language models and embedding models based on the same embedding model, which is ADA002 in this case, which has better performance, GPT 3.5 versus Llama 3. So our first question is, list out the companies that Elon Musk co-founded with other founders. And our first question was literally the one that we saw hallucination in our last video. Let's go straight into the answer. The first First three are correct, but the last two are not correct. Let's see how Llama 3 performs. Tesla, okay. Solar City, correct. OpenAI, Neuralink. The boring company, this is not correct. But when I revisit the text, there's probably some confusion here. This sentence could have misguided language models. Even though it's not factually correct, I'll let it slide. Let's move on to the second question. In our previous answer, we did not see SpaceX right. So I'm trying to see if these language models are consistent with their previous answer. Well, GPT 3.5 thinks yes. And what about Llama 3? No, this is good. So let's move on to the next one. And by the way, I later found out that I mistyped. This should be who, but I guess these large language models, they are gradually better at understanding semantically the meaning of the question. And especially I specify here as other founders, I guess they will have no problem handling this question. Especially I also tested on GPT-4 with this mistyped question and it had no problem understanding what I was asking for, even though there's some hallucination spotted, but that's not unheard of. Okay. So so for this question, his brother Kimbo, not correct, and Llama 3, none. Okay, good job Llama 3. It not only did not get tricked, but also get it factually correct. Pretty impressive Llama 3. So let's move on to the next one. So our next question is, did Elon co-found the boring company with other founders? Because in our very first question, the boring company was included. On this question, both language models get it right. That doesn't explain why in the first question they both returned the boring company but at least they passed this question okay so the next one is the boring company one of the companies elon co-founded with other founders yes isn't this question semantically similar to this one right and this is a no but here we got a yes it's not correct for llama 3 no it's pretty consistent at least for the five questions we tested, Llama 3 has better performance than GPT 3.5 when they're both paired with A.002, even though there's still some consistency issue. So now we move on to pairing both language models with nomic embeddings. We'll just go straight look at the answers. Again, we're seeing these two not correctly included from GPT 3.5. And on the right side with Llama 3, Infinity. Let's back check about Confinity using our diffbot knowledge graph. So no, according to results from diffbot knowledge graph, Elon was not even one of the founders. This is not correct. This is wrong. Not explicitly stated as co-founded by Musk. That's weird. And compared to the previous result, when Llama 3 was paired with ADA002, it did not have this issue. This answer is actually pretty bad. This one, I would not give it a pass. This is not correct either, but this answer is worse than the left side. Let's move on to the second question. So Nomic embedding plus GPT 3.5 says a yes. This is not correct. Oh, what? From Lama 3, yes. I mean, previously it got it right and now it says yes. This is wrong. This is wrong. Let's move on. Okay, there, okay the third question, Kimbo Musk. Well, GPT 3.5 did that too in the previous pairing with ADA002. Now let's look at Llama 3. PayPal. Who are the other founders Elon co-founded SpaceX with? PayPal. And not only did it wrong, but also thinks that PayPal is a founder. Don't look at me, no comments.
I mean, PayPal is so big, it's definitely in their training data set. It's not like you're asking who a random person such as Wu Li and Chen is, and it says it's a restaurant. And if that's the case, it's fairly acceptable because the food is actually pretty good. And I guess at the end of the day, what you really want or what businesses want really is AI-powered system that you have more confidence in trusting the information, including how the information is being returned. Where is the source? How much can you trust the source? And that's exactly what the DiffBot Knowledge Graph or the other APIs that we offer are meant to achieve this mission. You get to know how confident you can trust the source because facts are assigned with confidence scores and you also get to see the verified sources that are used to return information for you and why am i bringing this up it's because the default knowledge graph and those apis have become free no more free trials because they are free let's circle back to our testing this question yes it's a yes wrong again question four Yes, for GPT 3.5, it just firmly believes that Elon co-founded SpaceX and the Boeing company with other people. While Lamaji plus Noming and Betting finally got one right, why is it not consistent? For this, it's a yes. And this question is a no. These two questions, they're semantically similar. It just they're asked in a different way we just got inconsistent answers. They actually also experimented pairing GPT-4 with Noming and Betting for this particular test. And from the results, GPT-4 seemed to follow more what was in the context in our retrieval augmented generation. But does that allow me to say that Llama 3 is worse than GPT-4? I don't think so. What I think I can say is based on this particular data set and a specific question that I asked, the combination of GPT-4 and Noming and Betting seem to perform better than the combination of Llama 3 and Nomadic Betting. And the same logic applies to the previous test cases we saw. And that doesn't mean it would happen in your case because you have different data and different questions than I do. So what works for me or not work for me may not be the same for you. But at least what we saw in this experiment was components of choice of embedding models, language models, and even the prompt template or the prompt pipeline, in our case, we use DS Pyrac, can all be important variables that can cause varying results for you. I think what we can do here is literally try, test, repeat, find the optimal combination that works on our data and our questions. Because currently, there doesn't seem to be a one-size-fits-all solution. Now we saw the performance of the different combinations of embedding and language models. We're finally ready to try the DSPy optimizer and see how much it can improve the performance of the combination we just saw here. So I'll see you in the next video. No comment. Don't look at me. No comment. Don't look at me. I have no comment.